Wow, this is a weird place. Where am I at? Take a wild guess where I'm at. One of my favorite places. If you're a regular viewer, when I turn around here, you'll recognize it. I go here every payday. Voila! Out on the res. And then we have an unboxing to do. As soon as I get gas here, I'm gonna fly back because I wanna know the difference between the Hot Wheels Elite one of 18 scale Back to the Future DeLorean and the Super Elite. I know the one came with all the tires and makes all the fancy noises and sounds, the one that I just got that I'm obsessed with, but I seen some body differences, different color parts, stuff like that. So I want to have a closer look. Plus it looked like that mesh was a different color. So, okay, just gonna get gas. Wow, a dollar 42 on the res, must be pricey in town. Just so nice and quiet out here. Yeah, I love the signage they got. Back to town. Love that place. I just thought I'm driving through the hammer. I'll try to get some footage for you guys or downtown hammer. Wow, a big mob of people. Maybe something, maybe we'll catch something on camera. Downtown hammer, guys. down here. I lived down here for many years off and on. Good points and bad points to living down here, I'll tell you. The apartment we just moved out of was gorgeous, spotless, uh, quiet. You could hear a pin drop. All old people in the building. We were not on the ninth floor, had a big wraparound balcony. Um, but then as soon as you stepped outside, Got a dollar, got a smoke. A ah, nice little Mazda 3 in front of us. I'd drive that. Newer body style. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of, uh, this is Main Street in Hamilton. Right here, a little bit of what downtown, what the downtown Steel City looks like. I've got a few friends from the Sioux that watch my videos. Friends from the Sioux, hello. This is downtown beautiful The Hammer. Uh, my friends from the Sioux, believe it or not, this reminds me a lot of the Sioux, only it's bigger and there's more opportunity. It's the same layout. Like right here, Main Street, this is like Bay Street in the Sioux, and King Street's like Queen Street. And that white Durango over there almost wrecked. Dildo. That was such a nice ride. I made it back to the Cowie Diecast Museum. I gassed up, and oof, from what I heard, gas was like a dollar sixty-one a liter or something, dollar sixty in town. You saw what I gassed up for out there, so definitely worth the ride. Plus, they got the good cheech out there. So I take you guys for a ride with me for something to do. Join up with me. Anyway, we got a comparison. I want to take a look at something close here because a car that I sold off to get a newer car, when I got the newer car, they look different. It's supposed to be the same thing, but the new one's supposed to be like a souped up model of it. But I seen what I thought was some differences. So let's have a look. So clearly you remember this guy, the new Pride and Joy. That's the Hot Wheels 1 of 18 scale Super Elite DeLorean, the one that makes all the lights, uh, bells and whistles, makes all the nice sounds, lights up. I love it to pieces. The one that I replaced it with, or replaced with it rather, I love to pieces as well. If you remember, it was this one. The Hot Wheels Elite DeLorean, Back to the Future. I got it from the same place, AliExpress. 
It's actually a popular one of my older videos. I'm going to put a link in the description. It's getting some views. Um, but I got that from AliExpress as well for a killer deal. Killer details. But uh, I thought I seen, like, it, the, the new one just looked different from what I remember this one being. And I can't check mine because I sold it off to Willard. But Glenn has his still. So we're going to have a close look at the two of them. Hey guys, I do not have gloves. Tomorrow I'm picking up a box if ours do not turn up. Um, so yeah, this is more of a hangout video slash Neil's alive because if a couple days go by, I don't put up a video, people might think Neil's dead. And uh, it's a legit, when I opened up the Super Elite, I said, like for example, these parts looked darker blue than on mine, stuff like that, just little stuff. I know the thrusters are weathered on mine, they're supposed to be, but there's other little things I just want to check out. Plus, for new viewers that have not seen this, it's kind of a recap. Uh, so this is the Hot Wheels Elite What of 18 scale DeLorean. We ordered it off AliExpress. I'm going to put a link in the, in the description for the original unboxing video. Um, well worth it. I'm, I was totally happy with it. I know there might be some people that say, oh, it's a knockoff, this and that. I was totally happy with it, and you could not tell it's a knockoff. Uh, the board said Mattel on it. Sometimes you get a knockoff, and, and you know it's a knockoff because the board, little hoverboard doesn't say Mattel. Um, but yeah, this, I couldn't tell the difference, and I thought, I think it's awesome. And I wonder if it's counterfeit because these were made in China, right? So there could be all kinds of them. They could have kept pumping them out from... It's the same casting anyway. We know that. Okay, so this we've been into it once before because we checked Glenn's hoverboard. So we will crack into her. And like I said, this is a recap. And I'm going to put links to where you could order one of these for cheap and Canadian funds and even cheaper in American funds. And for the Super Elite DeLorean as well. I posted a picture of the Super Elite DeLorean in uh, Canadian 1 of 18 scale diecast group. And a guy commented and said, wow, I've only seen one of those before. Where did you get it? I said, give me a second, buddy. And I put up a link to where you could order one. Part of the screw down. Mm -hmm. Same thing happened with my Super Elite. Mm -hmm. Remember it fell out? Yeah. So, cake box, this is what you're getting, guys. These are gorgeous, by the way. They're so detailed, beautifully done. Um, and hey, the cake box, the good thing about it is, if you pay attention, you can tell what the top is and what the front is. The arrow pointing to the front, that's the front of the car. Uh, you've got to watch that you're doing it right, that way the car doesn't dump on the floor. Uh, but this is what you get. Uh, oh, hold on. Super detailed, guys. Uh, we had zero regrets when we ordered these. They are beautiful. And this one steers because it doesn't have that hover mode. Now, this isn't a comparison which one's better or anything, guys. I just want to do a side-by-side -side because I assume that it was the exact same car, except that one lights up and makes sounds. But something like this band here, I swear it's thicker on that one than on this one, for example. So I just want to do some comparing. Mr. Fusion might be different too. On Glenn's, it looks a little bit better from what I remember. But we're going to have a look side by side. First, I'm going to show you guys, if you were to order uh, an Elite, since it's been a minute since I did the video, for any new viewers, it comes with the hoverboard. Now, an important part of this, don't mind my grubby hands, I was under the hood of my car, but I did just wash them under the tap, so none of this gunk is coming off my hands. I even use soap. Um, but yeah, an important thing is you want the hoverboard to say Mattel. See the little red circles? Um, some of them go around, they don't say Mattel. They actually have little white slashes where it should say Mattel and from a, a distance you look at it and it looks like it's got text on it and it says Mattel but it doesn't 
these you zoom in, they say Mattel. So it just adds to the realism. Uh, but this is beautiful. So of course, um, yeah, it's got no engine in the front, but I will show you Highly detailed. We're not going to do a full review of this, guys, like I said, because we already did that. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, one of the things I wondered is if the plate on Glenn's flips over. It does not. It's on that future one. Whatever. So that is one difference. But Glenn's, I swear, his thing here is thinner and looks better than mine. We're going to have a look, though. We're going to have a look, guys. So this is also from AliExpress, and I think mine is lighter blue than this. Now, guys, uh, some people say, why are these parts blue? Because it's not supposed to be. I think that's supposed to simulate when the car is going through the space-time continuum. Like it lights up in that blue color. I think that's what it's supposed to kind of simulate, but I'm not positive. Uh, but anyway, guys, the other one's unboxed, so let's go up to the look-see set. So is Retro's memory right? Let's have a look here. Okay, so, oh, one sec. Didn't want the cord getting in your view, guys. Also, this is going to be a 1080p video since we fixed up the phone. Now, look closely at this, the mesh band, whatever it's called. I don't know, I'm not like a... Total Back to the Future nerd. I love the movie, but not enough that I know what that thing's called. Now look on mine. Now, is it a big deal breaker? Do I not want my car anymore? No. It's still awesome. Am I amazed that my short-term memory worked? Yes. I remember stuff from my childhood, but I can't remember when I had breakfast. I know what you're all thinking. How are we going to do a side-by-side -side of one's in hover, the other's not? We're going to change that. Up first, though. Those batteries seem like they might be... I didn't lock it into the stand properly. One second. Okay, before I take it out of hover mode, I'm going to show you guys. We're going to play in the dark for a second here. I don't believe it was as dark for the unboxing, so I'm just going to show you guys. I love this thing. Okay. Like, I love how the underneath lights up too, even. Those lights are bright because they're LEDs. You take a picture of it, eh, Max? Look at the way it beams out. Still pictures of that look awesome with the lights. time coordinates there's the flux capacitor see i don't care if that band is thicker than the regular one it does all this still the cool thing about it guys is before it lets us take off we gotta shut the door now the re-entry is a bit bumpy i'm gonna warn you guys I'm sorry guys, it'll take a while to uh, wear off the obsession with that. Just a reminder, we're leaving it on. Let's get down to business. I don't got no time to play around with this shit. Okay guys, so I'm going to go side by side by side, but here's Glenn's.
beautiful details on these guys, both of them. But pay close attention. So I knew the thrusters on mine were weathered. I like that because it's supposed to be from all three movies. But that band, I'm not sure what the purpose of that is. It looks better on Glenn's car, way better. Just looks a little bit too sick on there. So that's one difference I noticed. The other, I was right about this, but this might have been intentional to look weathered like this, like the thrusters, okay? So that might be intentional. But just a little difference. Oh, the clips that plug into it look different into the junction box, I think they're called. But uh, this doesn't steer, but we don't give a crap because of everything it does. This one does steer. Didn't have the light on there, guys. I apologize, my bad. Here we go. So now with the light on, I want to look at the interior. We're going to look at each side of the car just to see what's different. Okay, just zooming in on Glenn's. Now, the time circuit in mine moves because it's what you press on. But just have a look at that interior. And keep in mind, some of the changes might be to match all three movies in mine. The cables on Glenn's are a little bit of a lighter color than on mine. So have a look at my interior with Glenn's. Now again, my time circuit looks different because you press it up and down. But pretty similar still with the interior. I just don't like that if one of the only differences between the two cars, it's a huge visible one, but we'll see. I do see something I do like on mine, and it's that intentional weathering of the stainless steel. Just subtle. Um, you could just tell, but you could definitely tell it's intentional. Glenn's looks great and new because it's supposed to look new. Mine looks weathered because it's supposed to have been through hell and back, if you remember. But even up on that dashboard, looks pretty similar. Oh, the band on top, guys, you could really see it. Look at the thickness. Sorry if that was loud, guys. By the way, did I ever see a difference without Weldus Mic Works with the footage from the Ontario Diecast Addict show? Oof. Before in that crowd, you wouldn't have even heard me. I'd be talking and it'd be all mumbled and people told me to get a mic. I heard myself loud and clear in that video. I was like, yeah, that's why people use these mics. Not much difference in the front, but in mine, you see those LED lights. See the, uh, where the headlights are? Little yellow things. Those are LEDs. And man, are they bright. I'm impressed with those, actually. Can't believe all the lights on the car are LEDs and it looks like it has underglow too even. Passenger side, my car is quite a bit heavier, but it's because it's loaded with electronics after all. But they even have the little black seatbelt buckles. They're positioned differently, but both cars got them. One's got it, mine's got it. Mine's pulled up out of the seat though, but pretty similar except for that band on the car and a couple subtle things. Let's get an overhead view of the back part. I want to see if there's any difference in the details. Now, what I was talking about before, mine has the license plate that flips. That Glenn has the same plate on his truck for when he goes on the, what's that pay highway, Glenn? The 407? Yeah. Yeah, for when he goes on the 407. So he doesn't have to pay tolls. Just kidding. And, uh, yeah, I have a struggle getting it over without using an implement. There we go. Got it. So mine does that. His doesn't. Not the end of the world. Um, looks like a little tiny color difference in the taillights. 
Big difference, actually. Glenn's tail lights look a bit better than mine. Glenn, your tail lights look a bit better than mine, for frig's sakes. Maybe because you're light up, maybe because the... Oh, you're right, Glenn. Good the, point. The light will heat up inside, maybe? See, light blue down on the uh, junction boxes, dark blue. And Glenn just made a very good point. My taillights light up. Of course, they're going to look different. The retro. Thanks, Professor Glenn. Hey, guys, this is one of the things I was amazed with, with all the details here. Like, even the little... um. Those fuse looking things, you even see the wires coming out of them, like the tiny ones. Uh, but it looks pretty similar. I'll show you Glenn's. This is the exact one that I used to have that I ordered from AliExpress. Oh, Glenn's has these little great things, see them? And mine doesn't have that, see that? Mine doesn't have that. Unless it's just on the one side of the car. Nope. Glenn says something mine don't have, dude. Hmm. But not much. There's those weathered thrusters. I love you sexy devils. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Okay, guys, there you have it. Um, now, like I said, I normally don't remember what I've had for breakfast, so I'm surprised when I unbox my Super Elite that I said, wow, that metal band thing, the mesh, whatever it's called on the side, um, looks too big. I'm surprised. So obviously I would change that, but maybe it's there for a reason. Uh, Glenn brought up another good point. Maybe that's there to hide wiring, electronics. Like, maybe it has to be there, like, because that's got wiring all through the car, and you got to hide it, right? So maybe that strip is thicker because they got wires running through it, or you never know. You never know. Um, all I know is I still love the car, and do I still recommend getting it if you can? It, hell yeah. And I'm going to put a link in the prescription for that car. Okay, from AliExpress. Actually, for both of these cars, I'm going to put links in the description for both the cars. And I'm going to put links in the description for the previous unboxing of this guy. Right here. Um, even though it doesn't light up or anything, guys, still awesome. Um, if you cannot... Now, I had to buy the Super Elite with my income tax because I'm not rich, okay? Uh, there's a lot of people like me that are not rich. If you cannot get the Super Elite, this is your next best bet. And uh, Sunstar does an awesome job as well, but this is your next best bet over the Super Elite. They did awesome with it, and I still love it. If I didn't have the Super Elite, I would still own that. Obviously. You saw how good they did. Um... So yeah, I would still buy both. I recommend both. By the way, those cheap products I bought off AliExpress, guys. So I might do a review video on this one because I liked it so much. It's the little plug and play flash drive that I use to clean up my phone to free up space for the high dev videos. Um, in order to get cheap shipping, they did something called Choice Day where they told me to pick two or three other cheap items and they would combine it for cheap or free shipping, whatever it is. So I picked a flashlight that's bright as hell. Actually, one sec. I paid $8 for this, guys. You would not believe how bright that is. Like, it looks like I'm waving around the bat signal and you can make the beam big or small. And what I like about it is you could use it as like a roadside safety thing. Um, I thought I read that you could actually use it at to recharge stuff as well. But you don't put batteries in it. You totally plug it in and charge it. No batteries needed. But this is, woo, that's bright. 
uh, out of China, bright as hell. You want a flashlight, guys, for cheap that's super bright? AliExpress. Uh, the thing that I'm super impressed with, though, I bought that little vacuum. If you look in my previous videos, you'll see what I got from AliExpress. One of them was that little vacuum that you plug into the USB or USB uh, lighter in your car, a little USB thing. I thought it had to be plugged in to work. That's actually battery power, and holy crap, it won't suck up like nuts and bolts, like a Kirby vacuum, like it does, it's not crazy like that, but man, it does it ever, like I filled it up in my car with all the little dust uh, from my side of the car, like just smuts from my work shoes at work, filled it, I couldn't believe it, oh my god. If I, if somebody were to, you know, smoke in their car or smoke weed in their car, it'd be good to pick up weed crumbs, but people don't do that because that's stupid and it's illegal and it's impaired driving, but it would be good for ashes, like light stuff. You know what I'm saying? I was, in, I was amazed and it's totally battery powered. Like I, you, I'm going to use it in the house for little dust stuff and spills and that, like it's great. But yeah, AliExpress guys, check them out if you haven't yet. Um... I felt bad because Dave ordered something. I can't remember what he ordered. Oh, it was the video game thing that I got. That's another video. I'll put up a link to that. It's a all-in-one video game. Like, I can't remember. I got like 12,000 games on this little tiny size of a data stick. Plugs into your TV. It came with two controllers for like 40 bucks shipped. I'll put a link to that. Uh, but Dave ordered something and had trouble and the seller not responding and he had to fight to get a refund and it was his first ever order. And I've done like eight orders and recently I told him, I said, Dave, that was just horrible luck. And I told him it's like eBay, um, you've got to be very careful with sellers. Um, I believe he just had a one-off because I told him, I said, buddy, you got to give them another chance. And he actually did. He He's the one that found us the Knight Rider figures. That's another thing I'll put a link to, the Super 7, uh, three and three quarter inch Michael Knight figure that we ordered. Those are moving quick, by the way. They're at the depot awaiting to leave the country. So I would show you the beam on this, but I don't want to. Ooh. Oh yeah, it just blinds my phone, eh? That's crazy. Um, anyway, guys, yeah, AliExpress is a killer site and you don't get, so far I've not been ding duties on anything because they're smart the way they package stuff, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the hangout. It, it wasn't a shootout between these two cars. It was more or less a check-in. Say hello, me and Glenn are here alive. Glenn's here with me falling half asleep on the couch because he worked today. He's been working his butt off, so we're not going to hold it against him. Um, and not to mention he performs, you know, the, the music in my reels. He performs a lot of those. And it's exhausting because there's copyrights. So you know the music in my reels, it sounds a little bit different. It's because he's performing it. I'm just kidding. He doesn't. I'm bugging him because he's sitting beside me. I'm just teasing him. Um, and I'm tired. That's why I'm rambling on. So anyway, guys, we just wanted to check in, say hello. Show you guys the differences between those two cars in case there's some of you guys that were curious. I know I was before I ordered it. I thought... I thought they were both identical, except for one has bells and whistles and one doesn't, but I was a little bit wrong, but they're pretty close to identical. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Next week on Afternoons, uh, we've got some more unboxings coming for you guys. More stuff in the works. And uh, you know what I'm going to say. Uh, smash like for me. Keep me consistent. Make sure I'm not disappearing for three months like a hobo because I'm all... So smash like. Hit subscribe. Look at my knuckle, by the way. Ooh, that blood's like a, like a B-A-S-D-A-R-D today. And I don't even know how I did it. And uh, don't forget to share with your friends. And as always, happy hunting.